Hey, this is Mark Moore, a.k.a. Tuxedo Mark at various places on the internet. Just turned to 45 p.m. according to Computer Clock on Friday, March 6, 2015. And this is my review of original Sailor Moon anime episode number 21, Protect the Children's Dreams, Friendship Links by Anime. This episode originally aired in Japan on August 8, 1992. Okay, uh... This episode, Nephrite targets an animator named Hiromi, uh, who's friends with another animator named Kasuko. They are working as animators on the upcoming Sailor V anime. Yeah, an anime based on Sailor V. <sighs> okay, you got an arcade game, now you're getting an anime. Who, <laughs> who's in charge of all this Sailor V merchandising? I mean, is Minako kind of secretly doing this stuff? Is she in charge of it? Or is she in charge of it as Sailor V, maybe? Who's doing this? I mean, Sailor V is like a vigilante hero, superhero. I don't know if she even has magical powers yet. But anyway, who's doing this? And the, uh, the episode gets a bit meta, meta when uh, Usagi sees the commercial for the upcoming Sailor V anime. She's like, I wish I, someone made an anime about me. Ha ha. Who's going to voice Sailor V in the anime? Is Minaka voicing herself? Or... <laughs> this is such a weird premise. I mean... Are they worried about getting sued? Although I guess in order to get sued, the the like actual Sailor V would have to show up and maybe reveal her identity. I, I don't know. This is so weird. Anyway, he, Hiromi and Kazuko each bought special animators' pencils, like expensive ones. They went in on it together and they split it into two separate boxes and I'll use it only for like the most important scenes and the most important moments. Really weird, like lucky pencils, really. Anyway, they got this job. There's a flashback. They, they were going to start the job in spring. So I guess, you know, a, a few months ago, maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe if spring starts in March, then maybe like almost five months ago. Ah, okay, whatever. So, uh, but here's the thing. Usagi sees the commercial saying the Sailor V anime is coming soon, but they're still working on it. They're still animating it. They're... <coughs> they haven't even finished, like, you know, the final scene. They, uh, from what I saw, they were still doing, like, rough sketches, not, like, not even full-color animated stuff yet. It's, it's like, what? And this is coming soon? Anyway, uh, Ami catches, uh, she befriends uh, Kazuko, and they're both concerned about Hiromi, and... Ami sees Nephrite speeding away. She recognizes uh, him as Masato Sanjui, aka Nephrite. She sees him shooting by in his car, and she 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 picks up on it right away. And um, later on, it's kind of fun that uh, okay, Paul, Nephrite's secondary plan here was to draw out the Sailor Guardians, and sure enough, Ami standing on the roof of his car. Yeah, he's, he's like driving like what a Porsche or Ferrari or some kind of expensive car, and uh, she's just standing on top of it. Um, oh, the cursed item of the week is one of the pencils. He cursed Hiromi's pencils with like some monsters called the Gemini Twins or something like that, and the pencil keeps magically regrowing so she can keep reusing it and her energy peaks and stuff like that oh and she's like really rude to everyone but that's what happens to every person that's possessed 
Anyway. Uh, so summer breaks over. Uh, school has resumed. They're wearing their uniforms. You know. In fact, now that I think about the previous episode, uh, I think they weren't wearing their uniforms at all in that episode. And I don't know if that ever happens again or not. Well, I, I suppose it does, like, during the summer and stuff like that. But we'll see. Um, so, Ami mentions they're going to be starting high school soon. Is this the first mention of it? Because I think I heard someone mention something like that before. So, they're nearing the end of junior high, and they're going to start high school soon. Okay, we'll see. There's kind of a neat scene at Nephrite's house or mansion or whatever in the woods where he's drawing a drink of, I guess, wine, I'm not sure, uh, at a table, just, you know, outside on, like, the, t on, on, uh, well, it, it's part of the house, but it's, like, outside it, so that's kind of a neat touch. He's just hanging out, waiting for his plan to unfold. Uh, and Soy said comes to visit him, and she, he's like, you know, you're awfully confident, and we'll see. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. I guess this is ne this is Soy said's second visit to Earth. There's a song, an insert song that plays during the final battle, and as well as going into the final scene after that. It's called, In the Name of the Moon, We'll Punish You, and it's by the three voice actors that voice Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, and Sailor Mars. It's pretty neat. Um, Luna can't wait to see the Sailor V anime once it's done, but that's because, you know, of the two girls redoing their friendship, uh, Hiromi and Kasuko. But it's neat that Luna herself is, has become a Sailor V fan. It's, it's funny, Usagi had invited Ray to come along to visit the studio, and Ray's like, nah, never mind, the anime is just for kids anyway. But then she shows up, and it's revealed that she wants to get a whole bunch of autographs. She claims it's for her friends, but Usagi sees right through it. It's, it's pretty funny. Um, so, yeah. Uh... Ray is an anime fan. And, um... It's weird. It's funny that Hiromi actually calls them out on it. Uh... Obviously, Costco th thought she was jumping to conclusions and stuff like that. But Usagi and uh, Ray just freeze up. They, they know they've, they've been caught. <laughs> That they're basically just autograph hounds and uh, moochers wanting to get free stuff. They're like freeloaders. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, this is the last time that uh, a member of the uh, Dark Kingdom is trying to gather energy. This is the last energy gathering mission. Um... Afterwards, this focus shifts to finding the silver crystal. Alright. Um, is this episode important? I can't see anything at the moment that would say that it's an important episode. N nothing overt, but there's this certain feeling to it. Knowing it's the last energy gathering mission and having Soy said visit Nephrite on Earth again. By the way, I don't think we even see Queen Beryl in this episode, but anyway. Um, and the fact that there's an insert song, I believe it's the first insert song of the anime, it makes it feel like it's like this is important. It gives it more weight. Um, but we'll see. Right now, I don't know if we'll ever even see the Sailor V anime if it'll ever be mentioned again, but I, I don't think there's, uh, 
Th this episode seems like it could possibly be filler, and I'm leaning toward that, but we'll see as, uh, as we get further into the series. Um, anyway, it's 2.55pm, and that's it. Thanks for watching.